we can go on. Okay, so our last topic, it pertains to pretty much everything we've already been talking about, and we could have easily transitioned to it, but I think it does deserve its own thing. It's just a, it's a, about opinions and how um, disagree, people who have, and it kind of pertains to what we do or what we're hoping to do here is it's how people disregard opinions of disagreeing people or people in a different position than them and i was emphasizing this at the very beginning how um like outside of the bubble the the opinions outside of the bubble still matter and yeah I, this is in defense of that for from my perspective and obviously yeah. it's not in a hundred percent defense or anything but like it's uh like a common thing I see is a celebrity voices their opinion on a pol political thing. And for all, I, I don't really care about a celebrity's opinion, but I don't think people should be like, hey, you're a celebrity, you don't get an opinion because you have it better than us. And that's something I see commonly um, happen is a celebrity shows support for one political party or support for a country or something random, you know, and they're just like, Hey, you, you live a better lifestyle than us, so you don't get a say type deal, but their opinion matters too. Yeah. And saying yeah. that is a very bad thing. And it also goes for like poor, like the impoverished pe population. Um, like it seems like a lot of snobby people will disregard what the local population has to say as well. Like you'll see yeah. like city council meetings happen and people from the bad side of town want to voice their opinions because obviously their their side of town is what's getting the hard butt of things but they're just like there's just the stupid stereotype walls that happen and they they're just like uh we don't care about their opinion because they can't d take care yeah. of themselves I, I i i hate that um and so that's something that this last topic is going to be about um yeah, and just just to kind of like reiterate what you said, this is like a really good outro to like this video because it goes over kind of everything. Mm -hmm. And kind of my side of it is Taylor kind of said how celebrities will be like, oh, well, you live a different lifestyle, you're rich, so you can't really have an opinion on this. Mm -hmm. um, I see it from that side, but I also see it from the side like some celebrities they'll take a side and like everybody just jumps on that opinion yeah. and says oh yeah that's so true be because they're like a big like lebron james fan or they're a big like i don't even know like taylor swift fan i don't care any 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 celebrity and they just hop on that opinion because yeah, like, like uh a like nobody wants to form their own opinion type of thing like and i think that's a big societal like issue like people are like forming opinions off um like solely off other people's opinions and although like that's good like obviously you, you have to form an opinion based off other people's opinions it shouldn't be like oh i love lebron james so i'm gonna take this side because he does it should be like okay i've heard this opinion i've heard this opinion i want to form my own opinion which is what me and taylor are trying to do is provide like the map and let you figure it out for yourself type of thing mm -hmm. although we obviously have bias and you've probably seen in the last hour we've been talking that we clearly have bias, but I don't think yet that I, we've tried to convince I, anyone. Yeah, I would say it's not a negative bias either, because, I mean, it's kind of hard to not have bias without yeah, being a monotone, without being yeah. a necess. Like, it's, I think there's a necessity amount of bias that's needed, and it's not like we're trying, yeah. as I said, we're not, any discussion, even things we side with, we're not going to try and convince you, and we truly want people who disagree with us because we also want to see that side like and that's that's gonna play into this opinion thing is this um one thing is uh I, I tend to see happen on say social media people will say on instagram say a conservative will follow conservative pages and a liberal will follow liberal pages but they won't follow the opposite and it's just because they like to see that like-minded um views and i i think that's not that great of an idea because you only see that side of things and so you don't have like when uh when an idea from the opposing side comes up and you've never seen it before you don't really have a good argument against it because you don't even know what it's about i think um like one thing i've done is i've put the i've i follow more of the opposite views of what i share because it allows me to see that. And I actually tend to find a lot of them like, wow, I, I like what that says, you know? 
maybe not to mm-hmm. the full extent, but I mean, I don't think anything is as black as white. Like just because I agree with this thing means I have to disagree with this. I don't think anything in this world should be black and white like that. Um, which that's a whole yeah. nother topic we're going to talk about another time. It's just how people see the world in black and white and why I, I yeah. why I believe that's a bad thing. Um, but I, yeah. there's something like when people are like, let's take out that let's or when they say a celebration to share their opinion, I think it's a really bad thing because it gives you insight to their point of view. And as I said, even the opinions outside of your bubble matter and whether or not yeah. they you agree with them is another thing but it's just like so you can see what other people are going what they have so you can put yourself in their shoes and their point of view and i think that yeah. again since the beginning of this that's a big important thing in discussions is that sort of empathy or just that way that people put themselves in other shoes so they can relate to what's going on um mm-hmm. Yeah, just to, another thing with that is, um, I think social media is a big platform for, like, misinformation, especially with, like, opinions and stuff, and, um, actually, I called Taylor the other day about this, about, like, um, I was on, I was on Twitter, just, like, on Twitter, and just for the record, I freaking hate Twitter, like, Twitter has to be, like, the worst place on the planet, it is just full of so much, like, misinformation and, like, misleading I, I just hate it. It like, uh, like Jordan Peterson says, it like incentivizes. What does he say? It's incentivizes. Uh, uh, what's it called when you're uh, when you do something like super fast without thinking? Impulsion. Impulse. Yeah. Like, yeah. Twitter incentivizes being impulsive towards um, like throwing people under the bus, basically. But anyway, I was I was like on Twitter and I saw this like stat on um, like COVID, and it was just this girl who basically just whipped out a stat on uh, like the deaths from COVID a day. And there was like no context behind it. There was no like anything. It was just like put there as if it was like a like factual piece of information. And it like really aggravated me because there was like no context. Like it, it didn't have any, any like information on like what the numbers actually were, like the deaths from COVID, like if they were strictly from COVID, if they like, involved um you know like a complication with something else or anything like that and it was like comparing the deaths of covid to like other united states tragedies like 9 11 and pearl harbor and it like it just aggravated me because it was she essentially like it was super easy to do like you could have easily looked up the numbers to the deaths on a certain day from covid and just slapped it in with like 9 11 and covid or I'm sorry, 9-11 and like Pearl Harbor and other like terrible days in the United States history and just put it on social media as if it was a fact. And like so many people liked it and retweeted it. As, and I was, it just kind of aggravated me. And I called Taylor about it because it was like, like people really, you like, you can have just such a popular opinion that when you put it out, anybody and everybody who has that same opinion. Just jump on will, it. Will jump on it. Yeah. And at the expense of like manipulating facts to make it seem like that opinion just is even more like true. Mm-hmm. And like, it was super aggravating. I was like, this is just so dumb. Yeah. And I'm, I challenged that too. I was, I, I don't remember how I challenged it, but it was kind of like, well, I mean, um, I agree. I agreed with him because it didn't look, it didn't seem like much thought was put into it or much um, intention was put into it besides to just, compare it to another tragedy but yeah. i also agreed with it in the sense like i mean it is trying to show how important of a situation the covid19 is and the pandemic is yeah. and but i agreed with you on the fact that it was a poor way of doing it um yeah it wasn't well thought out it didn't have that strong it didn't have a even a mediocre foundation for it to be built upon or premised on um and it it appeared like it was making light of the tragedy, other tragedies in United States history. You know, it it, yeah. it wasn't a smart or well thought out comparison, to, from yeah. my view. But I knew I I knew what they were trying to get at, and that I re I respected. Cause, and yeah. it's something that is that needs to be 
um, spread like made aware, but not in the way that it was made aware. And that's what you, that's what I believe you were getting at. It wasn't exactly the exact like stats that were going on. It was the way it was going about and how false information can be so easily shared in general, you know? Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I was in no like, way like, like think I, of, I wasn't like, I wasn't like denouncing the, the numbers itself. Like I, I was like, I think I even told you like, if these numbers are correct, like fine, but like you have to put context behind like a number such as like deaths from like a disease, especially mm-hmm. like when you're comparing it to something like Pearl Harbor and 9-11, like you, you have, you have like a lot of explaining to do when you compare something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I remember you made the point like, uh, like the deal with Pearl Harbor and 9-11 was the amount of time it happened in two because they generalized everything into the day. But like, um, say 9-11, like the death rate was within an hour or two that everything happened. And then yeah. say Pearl Harbor was like a four hour attack. I, I don't personally know. Um, feel free to correct me on that. Um, but like, it, but yeah. it was like kind of the time frame too that was being compared. Yeah. Um, not again, it's not like trying to take away the importance of those, but the specific way it was portrayed, the picture I saw, I, I do, I would, it, it was it was a bad way of portraying it um yeah like an example of this i can think of and this kind of ties into the cancel culture thing De, uh it was demi lovato she got canceled quite a few times since i was like nine or ten i believe <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah. uh, um like there's one time where there's an account of hers that was uh insulting selena gomez or something like that and she got canceled because of it but it turned out that the account wasn't even hers or had any association with hers it was a fake account that just started doing terrible things in her name and it got her canceled and everyone on twitter was all behind it and that's something that as that kind of ties into that point like how twitter or just social media for in in general how people are so quick to um they just see something that even Re- re- reflects a hint of what they want to believe or a point they want to get across so they just quickly share it and spread it around and it causes a lot of problems that way um, like there's been politicians that have been like kicked out of office for stuff they never like said on social media because other people said it and then everyone's just quick and that's where that negative part of cancel culture even kicks in or connects to all of this um but like there's a, but like, yeah, like I mean that negatively affected Demi Lovato. Um, not that I think of her as any ideal or anything. I truly don't even know much about her. I just know about that situation. But um, that whole premise of how social media is so quick to share opinions, and also yeah. so quick to shut down opinions. Um, yeah, yeah. That, that's that's like the biggest thing is like, it seems like that's another major like societal issue is the fact that it seems like some opinions are superior to other opinions, Mm -hmm. which again goes back to like what we're even doing is like, we don't want to see the superiority of like certain opinions. Obviously there's going to be a superiority in like population of opinions. So like the amount of people that have a certain opinion, well, there might be a superiority in like the number, but there shouldn't be a culture of, of destroying an opinion because you don't like it type of thing. Yeah. And I think kind of what we're going with like this topic is, just because you have an opinion and you like you get a lot of retweets on it doesn't mean it's like factually correct type of thing Mm -hmm. or as the general population like agrees you doesn't mean it's factually correct it does mean like i will side with the part of if you have an opinion that is uh, the most popular it's it's going to be the most popular like it's that's going to be like the truth in quotation marks but it doesn't mean that's like a factual piece of evidence. Yeah. Um, I kind of think of all the fake Twitters that try and portray themselves as the real ones, like the Donald Trump Twitter that isn't his. I mean, his actual Twitter is still pretty wild in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah. There's like the fake ones that say so much. Like I, I, I genuinely enjoy them. I think they're funny, but like a lot of people think like that's genuinely the president saying stuff. But it's yeah. like the clever thing is this is not so far fetched from what the president would say. And I think that's yeah. what's so funny <laughs> about it. Um but like yeah. still like 
people are like, this is our president type deal. And they're so quick to hop on that. Or like same thing with other politicians or celebrities and stuff. Um, They're so quick to hop on to things. And I think like a bad, a messed up thing, or I mean, it's not really messed up, but how often things get blown out of proportion or over analyzed thought, whatever, like uh, a celebrity could show support in something. And then someone finds this thing about what they're supporting and like say one thing like people are so quick to uh blow up or so quick to concentrate on one bad thing rather and ignore all the positives which that's another that's a topic we really want to go in depth in on another time but just in general like uh that tends to happen with opinion like opinions and stuff like that like you have an opinion on a certain subject but that subject involves one other like another um like behind it has a door of behind a door of it there's another thing that you don't like and so you blow that up you find like the smallest uh weaknesses and you blow it up so it's outweighs yeah. all the good and it, it's i don't think it's a bad thing i yeah. just don't think it's I, an ideal thing either just because no, yeah. you could do a hundred good things in your life but one bad thing and people will only remember you for the bad thing and it it's both a yeah. sad but I, there's also good in it. And again, I, that's something I want to dive into on another time. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, the, yeah, I think like the biggest topic I like talking about with this topic is like the celebrities and like people who seem to be like in control of like the majority of opinions, which is usually like politicians and like celebrities and mm-hmm. people is like, it shouldn't, I hate how, like it seems like today everybody has either one or the other type of opinions like it's it's either you side with this or you side with that and it seems like everybody's just like clones of each other and it all kind of it always seems to stem from like politicians and like celebrities in my opinion at least yeah like they all have the same one the same type of opinion so they post and then the other side uh celebrities and politicians they post the same type of stuff and everybody's like oh yeah this oh yeah this and like that's where like I hope me and Taylor like can come in and like, okay, well maybe we don't like either of these, you know what I'm saying? Like maybe we don't like either of the opinions. Like maybe we want to do like all of the opinions. And even if me and Taylor like have biases towards one side or the other, we want the other side and we want like the middle and we want our side. Like we, we want to be like the place where opinions, like we don't care what your opinion is. We just want to hear your opinion. We want to like discuss it. And we also want you to feel like you can voice your opinion, you know? Um, Yeah. And, like, we hope that this gets big. We really do. Like, I think it would be awesome if people even around the world, like, saw this and wanted to be a part of it. Um, Yeah. And I I think... I I personally just think the whole idea of it is rather beautiful, even if there's already other people doing it out there. Like, I I, I hope people I hope people like us keep doing it. Like, honestly, Mm -hmm. like... It, like... Imagine, like, like think about, like think about, uh, dude. I'm getting, I'm getting into this, bro. <laughs> dude, like think about, a, like a society, specifically in the United States, because I think it's a major. But think of a society where, like, social media and like, uh, news networks, are like obsolete, and even social media doesn't have to be obsolete. But specifically, like news media and like, because imagine if they're obsolete, there'd be no like bias there would obviously be like bias but not in like news places like for us like obviously we don't give out news but we're like the place where we give out opinions and give out like um sources of opinions because we're a source of an opinion similar to like a news network where they give out their own opinions on stuff so imagine if like they were obsolete and of course like if that were to happen it would be so unbiased in like the country that like i guess i shouldn't say unbiased because there's going to be bias like like we kind of said but there'd be so much more like unity i guess is what i'm looking for because i i am like i am like i swear i'm like the number one uh number one like proponent of like news networks being the reason that the united states is like divided and like people in general around the world why they're divided is because of news they cause like that they just cause such a divide like oh yeah, come watch us and we're just going to feed you like this opinion and the other side's the same way. And so, yeah, I could, yeah, like 
if we're like, gonna get big, it would be one thing. Cool. It'd be like I don't know if it would be a good thing or not. I'm, there's a, obviously only one or there's a few ways to tell, but um, I don't know that I fully agree with you on that. Though I will, I'm sorry to admit this, I kind of zoned out during that, so <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably have to just rewatch it. Um, but like, say if news media stopped with the politics but kept with actual news, like, oh, the dam in yeah. Yeah. Utah yeah, just I broke, or the dam in, or like, tornadoes just ran through Washington, D.C., all the politicians yeah. are dead, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, like, like, news like that, like, genuine news besides politics, or like, um, I guess in the unbiased way, just simply be like, Biden's winning in the Trump, or in the Trump, in the polls, or Trump's winning in the polls. Like, just simple information would be nice. And going into detail would be nice, but the um, fabrication of it is what's really bad, I think. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. I, I agree with that. Yeah, and uh, as we've said before, a lot of these topics we want to talk about more at a later time, and one of them is how... Like it goes, it connects into like seeing the world in black and white. It connects to races, ethnicities, and stuff. It 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 does appear like the media is instigating a lot of these racial um, problems that are going on, prejudices, and I. It would be nice to see that be put to a stop. I kind of sound like a conspiracy theorist, but like from the amount I've seen, it's something I can't say i can deny because of yeah what i have seen on it you know it seems like there really is like there's not naturally a race war because i mean there wasn't like people back in the day didn't fight each other just because of the color of their skin they were fighting each other for multiple reasons land um not exactly culture. like ethnicity yeah culture and stuff yeah um and that's that's another <laughs> there's so many topics but yeah like yeah, um, yeah. There, it, it just seems like there is something going on there. So with social media and everything, I would just say be careful about it all. Even like take what we say with a grain of salt, if that's the right saying. Like don't don't just be so quick to hop on what we what we're talking about either. You know, like even what we're just what we just said. Like don't be so quick to be like, oh yeah, maybe there is like a race war being instigated type of stuff. Um, really think it out through yourself voice it through us even if you want um talk with us and we just hope everyone to help everyone get opinions whether they are with us or against us on said opinions and it even be i think it would be almost a testament to what we're doing if half of the topics you do agree with us on and half of them you don't because that just shows that there's a good balance and it's not black and white like if you disagree with us on one thing you disagree with us on everything but rather like there's a genuine balance there because I don't think it's solely one side or the other side and anything, which also like, it's not just solely good against evil. It's like, there's evil in good. There's malevolence in the, in good and stuff like that, you know, and there's good in the bad and heck like that ties into what we were saying about video games earlier too. But yeah, I think just with everything, just um, make sure you, when you, when you form your opinions, just make sure you have enough integrity for it and are able to have a strong basis for it. And also, I think with any any view that you've come up with, just be open-minded at it. Always know, always have the suspicion that there's someone out there who knows more than you. And yeah. that's what we're hoping for here is we hope there's so many people that have more than us. That way they can talk with us and help us expand because this isn't just for you guys I, I think this will be very nice for me and Tristan or Tristan and yeah. I that way we can grow too because yeah. talking to the and same even, yeah I think even if like a lot of whoever's watching or whoever watches like doesn't have a strong opinion I think that's good too because like honestly there's only like a, probably a handful of subjects me and Taylor have like a strong opinion on and like uh, there will definitely be like episodes that we do where we talk about something where we don't really have a strong opinion on something so like our conversation will probably go like something like I don't know. It'll it'll go something like we go back and forth on like random ideas about it, but we don't have like an opinion on it. If that makes sense, so mm -hmm. that's where then the viewers come in of voice your opinion so like we can either walk it through with you, and then for the the ones that we have strong opinions on, but you might not have the strongest opinion on, 
like that's okay too and then yeah like of something, course it, something that would be nice both um with and against us on our views is like say like there is something that you agree with us on and but like say you don't have enough defense for it or like or surety even like or even it, you you feel like you do but then we say something about it and it just helps you with your view and you're just like oh wow i could use that like i see how that i can implement that already in my um testimony of that view or position or even it's the opposite we say something that you don't like and you're just like you know what that just helped me with my view like you it, because of what you said there even though i didn't agree with it it helped me in a different way like it showed me that i didn't like that either type deal um and so that i feel like this will just be a good way for both us and you guys to really um shape our opinions and just our viewpoints and continue to have a healthy discussion on all things and i hope this grows as a community because i think that would be awesome people more people would want to join in and just imagine like a community where people can have healthy discussions even if it's disagreements have healthy disagreements and it's just like the talk of the town you know just people are like hey let's go talk on food perception about this because we know we're not gonna be shamed for our views or anything like that and so yeah yeah i think that's like the biggest thing is like a place where a place where like opinions can just be like flowing really is as mm. and like with like no backlash and of course like we'll obviously be monitoring like backlash if there's a lot of people in like comments backlashing because that's like obviously something we do not want we don't want it like a second twitter at all yeah and yeah so but yeah the biggest thing is like keep an open opinion like with this whole opinions topic we've been going over is like just like form your own opinion and mm. then and then like express it like like i'll be i'll like be honest like there's opinions on twitter that like sometimes i just hate but at the end of the day it's like that's like their opinion based on their experiences so i i can't really do anything about it but there is a point when opinions like people seem to take opinions for like factual evidence and that's when it's kind of like too far it's like okay well your opinion like has a certain flaw in it that's like incorrect yeah but it's time there's it's like everyone should be working through like their opinions and like coming up with their own so yeah well unless you have more to say i think we can go ahead and do some closing remarks yeah i'm good okay um so yeah uh if you watched it through all of this uh, i appreciate we appreciate your time um we hope it strikes a positive chord with you and you share it with your friends and stuff and invite them to be a part of the community um i think for as we mentioned earlier uh we'll try and set up a bunch of links so that there's multiple ways of communication for us um we'll put in the discord on our youtube we'll i think we'll make like an instagram account of this just to and i think there's is do you have a TikTok for it yeah there's a TikTok. i'll post i already have a video on it but i'll post um uh, i'll post like random clips of like this video and then our next video which will probably it'll either be it'll, i assume we'll do it next week right some we'll see we'll yeah, yeah. oh yeah 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 uh we we plan to do it every saturday and if we have if we start getting a lot of people that all want to be a part of it um we'll start implementing it on the weekdays as well but yeah so i th i think how we're doing it is we're streaming it on saturdays and we'll have the videos uploaded on youtube by sundays so i think tomorrow me and tristan or tristan and i are gonna spend of some of our time tomorrow uploading this stuff um but yeah i think we have the tiktok discord twitch youtube and i think we should make a instagram of our page and we can just post on instagram and yeah. get people involved from there as well because we can yeah. just send the instagram to friends and if um if our view viewer base follows it they can send the instagram to friends that way as well you know and so we yeah. can we can post highlights and stuff if you guys see moments that you like as a highlight just feel free to share it around um again if we got the, if we get this big that'd be awesome and yeah he heck if you if you disagree us, with us on the fact of us doing this let us know you know like don't hold oh back. yeah yeah like if someone out there like hates that we're doing this that'd be great to have you on because <laughs> yeah. figure out why you're doing it i mean because yeah. that, that, 
I could see there being like valid reasons as to why we shouldn't do this, but yeah, I mean, don't have your face yeah. on the internet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, to go with that, yeah, our uh, the Twitch is in our YouTube bio, and um, yeah, of course, if you if you're on Twitch, that's like obviously the only way you can like interact with us live. But feel free to interact with us on like YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, whatever. So mm -hmm. yeah, alrighty, well. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I think that went pretty well for our first one. I'm going yeah. to head to the gym and start looking like a Nintendo Switch rather than a Wii remote. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching. Much love.